a new walk around here. Started the same old place as the first walk around. There's number eight sitting over this ash pit. Coal in the hopper now. It's coal fired. There's the ash pit there. called Massey. This is Raven Junction. been filling in over here landfill with buckets for years but it takes forever to fill in so one day I built this trestle section I start the, the wood, curved wooden trestle around here but all this landfill rocks that we piled up needs to be moved over and it'll support the bridge coming down the hill so it's gonna be years before this is done over here so we'll just run on what we got for now and uh, all the water flows down in here right here is going to be a bridge i already have the bridge to go in it's just a little small it was inch and a half scale got to cut it long ways and widen it so it's uh up to five inch scale can go through there all right we're coming down here to quail valley the tracks are on this grade at the moment but they're gonna have to move up now that I moved the switch to the reverse track. Coming by Lone Pine, it's getting bigger. So all this still needs to be all graded and put in before this track will connect. So that's quite a bit of work down in there. Meanwhile, once that this uh, connects at the switch here, we'll connect back on here and we can keep going around and the loop. This other track, this is the reverse track. I got the reverse track in pretty good now. This is the water tower base. It's gonna be a water tower right there. And this uh, track leads to Raven Junction, and all this track's in and, and been running on it. So you can go up to Raven Junction. This is Terrazas, named after Mario Terrazas. He's uh, guys donated a lot around here, a lot of time and a lot of effort. Great guy. Anyway, there's the main coming down the hill, and we're coming up the reverse track here. And that's Raven Junction. So let's go back down the reverse track here. This track off to the left, that's gonna go to a three track yard. It'll be called Front Yard, because it's right in my front yard of my house. Quail Valley Railway is a mountain railroad. It's rarely flat and uh, when it gets done, it's going to climb six stories all together. It's actually 58 feet that it will climb. And uh, the loop is uh, 1,066 feet around. And once all the track that goes up the hill and up the loop and up the switchback, uh, we'll have a, a close to 3,000 feet of track. Right here, the old road bed is over here on the right where this ballast is and I'm uh, blasting through the hill here because it's just too sharp through here so to move the track over I got to blast through these rocks and clay and solid talc 
So I've been chipping away at the stone to get the track moved over. You can see the old road bed there. And how we're uh, moving over. My number eight went through there, but number nine's front uh, truck wanted to derail. So I'll bring it over little by little. And we'll add this back. I was running through here and we had the bridge at Cache Creek, but I decided to come out. Just I gotta be able to make this lead to this curve better. So Cache Creek's gonna become a longer curved wooden trestle. And this trestle's probably gonna be re, uh, repositioned over at uh, Terrazas. We'll just put that in to give us some level there. So you can see how far I've moved over. The road bed's actually up here. And so I tore this track out too. The road bed's off on the left now. I disconnected here because I'm going to add track and uh, about 10 feet probably and widen out this curve so this uh, so a nicer uh, gradual curve heading to that out onto that trestle and coming around Mountain View I'm running on all this part and we're still uphill here Coming up the summit. Summit switch. This is going to lead to my Tachibi division. That uh, where it climbs up. It also leads over to the turntable, which is just right there. It's going to be a brick roundhouse, five star roundhouse, five bays outside, five inside some of my cars and uh, this is the same old bridge at Sand Canyon and I recently uh, made it a deck bridge and you can see the track down here below that's the water tower and the reverse track and so you can run all the way down it used to run all the way down around and through here and all the way up the summit anyway Judging by these stains on the bridge and these chunks of coal on the bridge, I think Quail Valley has turned into a coal-fired railroad. Here at number eight. Recently converted it over to coal. Got one of my water tanks stashed here in the coal car for now. <clears throat> I'm gonna be getting a, a small water tank that fits under my seat so I can run light again. But number eight's got his little broom in here so he can sweep up and a little coal scoop and the oil cans there. And you gotta love it. It's a little more dirty, but uh, you're gonna love that too. So, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.